how to manifest success by living your purpose and receiving your desires. Here's how to manifest success by living your purpose. You will finally receive your manifestations when you become a successful person. And here's how to do it. Today, I'm sharing a very important concept with you. Without mastering this technique, you'll never be able to manifest what you want. One thing that holds people back from manifesting their desires more than anything else is not becoming the person who has the success they desire. If you don't start acting like the type of person to achieve what you want to achieve, it will never happen. Today, we're going to change all that and we're going to start being the people that we need to be to get the results that we want to have. Today, you are going to figure out what your purpose is and then step into your purpose right now to be successful right now. My name is Kath Kyle and I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy. I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. Let me ask you a question. Are you wanting to be a successful person, but you're not getting any results just yet? Let me know what you're struggling with by leaving a comment on my blog, YouTube channel, or DM me on Instagram. Let's change your struggles into solutions right now. Do you want to start to become successful right now and manifest your desires? How to manifest success by living your purpose. We've already learned how to reject disbelief in step number six of the manifestation process, which is to detach from our limiting beliefs. So if you've already started to use that process that I shared with you in that step, you'll already feel like you don't have so much holding you back from success. So now it's finally time to receive. It's time to manifest your desires. So how do we actually do this? We do this by stepping into our success. And I'm going to walk you through the process of doing that right now. Now I'm going to ask you a series of questions to help you increase your own belief and manifest success in your own life. Number one, who do you desire to be? What are your core desires? So I've talked about core desires previously, but just to give you a recap, a core desire is the highest level of desire. It is a desire to be a specific type of person. So perhaps you are already that person and in that case, you can desire to be the kind of person that you already are. And this is the best frame of mind to get into. So for example, you might have a desire to be an entrepreneur, a writer, a speaker or a teacher and you might already be this kind of person and that is perfect it means you're in complete alignment so what are your core desires how would you give a label to the type of person that you desire to be number two what is your purpose now that you're certain what type of person you desire to be in the world of work you can go one step further and add the word successful to the front of the word, or you can choose any other word that brings emotion to this desire. What would a successful entrepreneur be thinking right now? How can you start to think more successful thoughts? Can you start to see yourself as successful? Have you ever been successful at anything in the past? Can you be successful again? Number three, how can you live your purpose right now? If you are not living your purpose and are not yet being the person that you want to be, the first step is to take some kind of action, which would mean that you are now living that purpose. So for example, if you desire to be a writer, simply start writing every day. If you want to be a speaker, start creating videos or audio recordings every day. If you want to be an entrepreneur, figure out how you're going to make money and take one action towards that. Step number four, what actions will you be taking when you are making the money you desire? Now we're going to take a good look at the actions that you will be taking when you are successful. Will you have created a product when you're successful? 
Will you be selling that product when you're successful? How many people will be buying your product each month? How much profit will you be making? How will you reach people? How will you create a loyal audience? What systems will you need to have up and running? Will you have hired anyone to help in your business? Create a list of all of the actions that you can think of that a successful entrepreneur in your niche would be taking. Number five, how can you take those actions right now? The most powerful thing you can do to be the person that gets the results you want is to start to take the actions that a successful person would take right now. Even if you are not yet able to take the exact actions, create a space in your day that you would use to take the success actions. So for example, perhaps you're a coach, but you don't yet have any clients. If you did have clients right now, what would you be doing? This next step is very powerful. You are going to create space in your life for the success to come pouring in. If you were a coach right now, you'd be relying on people's messages who want coaches. You'd be blocking off your time in your calendar to do the coaching calls. You'd be adding them to your coaching system and welcoming your clients in. You'd be asking your clients for feedback once the program had ended. So what you need to do right now is create all of the resources that you are going to need for this whole process. So block off time in your calendar for clients that you are going to coach during the next month. Like block off one hour slots. This is my coaching block, another coaching block, another coaching block. And then if you don't get coaching clients during this time, you can use that to try and find more coaching clients. You would want to also create a system where clients can see your availability and book coaching calls with you. You would want to decide what platform you are going to use for your calls and also to communicate with your clients. You are going to write a generic welcome message and some other resources that you will need to send to your clients. You will create an outline of a program for your coaching clients to go through. You'll write a sales page for that coaching program and set up payment systems. You will write some questions that you will ask at the end of your program to get feedback. Then you will spend your time messaging people on social media or email and ask them if they want a few free coaching sessions in return for some feedback. Don't give away a massive amount, but just enough that people can get results and that you can feel like you actually have a client. And once you get your first client, even though they are not paying, you are living your purpose. You are being a successful coach. And once you've gone through this process a few times, you'll be so confident that you'll be able to start charging for your services now. So whatever type of business you are running, go through this same process and become the person right now who takes the actions that you need to live your purpose. And in my stamp goals book, I have, have a concept called the perfect character bio, where I walk you through becoming the person who gets to have everything you desire. And like most people, I have struggled with imposter syndrome and feeling like I was lacking in some way when it came to my business success. And I took myself through some exercises which really helped me see that I had already demonstrated my abilities to achieve success in my life. And there was no reason why I couldn't apply those same skills to my business. So if you want to take this step one step further, grab a copy of my stamp goals book and you will find that exercise in the book. The fastest way to be successful is to take the actions of a successful person. If you are being a successful person, your self-belief will be sky high and there will be nothing stopping you from manifesting all of your desires because you're already living it. Being a successful person is the final step in the 10 step manifestation process. Thank you so much for investing in your success by going through all 10 steps. And if you haven't yet joined the challenge, you can join that by going to manifestbusinesssuccess.com. Now that you have learned how to manifest success by increasing your self-belief to get what you want, you might be wondering how quickly you can manifest your dream business. 
Next time, I'm going to be sharing my own story with you of how I manifested a six-figure business in just six months. To make sure you don't miss that, make sure you subscribe to my podcast and my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram so you don't miss that. While you're waiting for the next step in the manifestation process, you can start taking practical action in your business today. Go and watch my free workshop where I walk you through my complete process of planning the business of your dreams in just 30 days. This is part of my premium course Dream Business Blueprint and I'm only making this workshop free for a limited time so go and grab that while it's still available. Go to manifestbusinesssuccess.com to get my free workshop How to Plan Your Dream Six Figure Business in 30 Days. Until then, Go and put your stamp on the world.